besties i realized i did not film an intro to this video so as you are seeing i am unboxing my new camera which is the canon v10 and i will tell you guys now that i absolutely love it and then later on in the video we are going to be spending the weekend with me relax chill and honestly not doing much just a really chill weekend hope you guys enjoy this video So this is how it's looking. I'm about to make dinner, so my kitchen is currently a mess. But I'm loving it. I love how wide it is right now. But here, we're gonna I'm gonna turn on the camera that I usually use. Oh my god, I'm gonna break it. Okay, one second. I'm gonna actually use the little stand that comes with it. And just like in this clip, you can just totally see how wide the Canon V10 is because you can even see my daughter in it. And in this one, obviously, you can't see my daughter at all. Now, if I move it to the side, you might be a little bit, but like it's so nice. I'm loving the colors, how it's looking. I feel like I'm kind of like in the dark spot right now in my kitchen and it looks really, really well. So I'm really, really liking that, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Also, I forgot to show that it did come with like a, a wrist strap. So that's pretty cool. I probably will put it on it just in case, but this is how it's looking. I don't know. Can you guys tell the difference in the quality? Can you guys not? I'm really excited. I think this is just going to make it so much easier to just vlog with and want to take out and vlog with because it is so tiny that i am just i'm loving it i really am loving it this is the audio with the canon i think it's really good i feel like you're probably getting my kids in the background one's eating chips so you probably are getting that that's my nikon cooplex cool pics a 900 i had this one for years i really love it especially for my first camera i didn't really do any research for my first camera i just seen this one it was a good price at that time when i bought it and i was like oh my god it has a flip screen like and it can record in 4k so i was like i'm getting it not that it's saying that it's a bad camera because it's not but like it has done me well over the last couple months and years I want to say I used it the most this year when I started to record a lot more. I did use it over a couple years in some videos, but not as consistent. I feel like this year I have been I have been so consistent with my videos and trying to stay on top of things and coming up with more ideas. I just went with the with the Canon V10 just because I do vlog at home a lot. I do a lot of reading vlogs and things like that. So I'm never really out doing things. I'm always kind of just sitting down doing things. And I just thought this would be perfect so i hope you guys enjoyed i don't know the specs or anything like that i'm not a tech guru so i just got it for just the basic aspect to just kind of the just kind of like you know i can just flip it out press it go on with my day type of vibe i'm going to go back to letting it charge but i'm loving the way battery exhausted this always happens when i use it as well I'm glad that we upgraded to something very easier and quick especially with kids i always have things in my hands and i just think that this being so small smaller than my phone that i can just bring it everywhere and do everything and just feel really good about where my videos are going to go now and how everything is going to go Good morning guys, it is Friday morning, October 11th. I thought, why not do a spend the weekend with me again this morning? I sliced my finger open, trying to open my eyebrow razor <laughs> um, to just kind of touch everything up with one hand and this is the outcome of it. It's starting off great guys. Positive attitude, I think it's gonna be a great day. Did my coffee already, I'm opening my computer so that we can start Bible study. And then I'll let you guys know what book and everything after Bible study I am reading. We got this. It's gonna be a good weekend. In Luke chapter 10, Jesus explains three of the greatest priorities of our lives. One of them is to be an ambassador.
it's literally 9.23. It feels so much later in the day, but it's only 9.23, guys. And I'm currently uploading. Let's see. We are going to set that to public. Publish that. Yay. So now this little gem is up and ready. So I literally edited that whole, well, it honestly wasn't a long video because I mean the video altogether is only six minutes. A fall TBR video that, um, just some books I want to read this fall. So go check that out. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to do shorter videos in between my vlogging, my long vlogging videos because I feel like getting long vlogging videos takes me like, I can do it in a day if I sit down and do it in a day, but that's just never the case. So here we are. So let's talk about the book here soon. I just want to get myself to get there for the day actually i might do that this afternoon because we do have a pizza party to go to maybe i'll record some of that we'll see show you guys what i've been reading oh so watch me fall and this is part of the emerson U series by casey keen i love casey keen's writing she's up there probably with one of my she's up there with cm stunch i really do like her reverse harem books and i had to take a break between my fall tbr stack here and just reading just a nice re reverse harem romance because those I felt like I was getting in this weird funky mood and we don't need that right now I don't need that I don't need to be in a book slump right now if you know you know and those really suck to try to get out of I was like I need to read something quick easy fun and literally got to 56% last night I'm on page 297 and I read that like only in three hours because I think I started like at nine and then I went to sleep at like 12 yeah guys that's going it's going well I'm really liking it I can't wait to see what where it's going I think she likes to be called Lulu because her name is Luella and and she basically gets ripped from her hometown in Nevada and moves like basically literally across the country and she has to leave her best four best mates behind. They're all guys, they grew up together and they literally have kind of like this romance going on. Um, the day that she, her brother comes in and kind of just snatches her and just like runs away with her. She comes back obviously for college and she gets sent away and doesn't know where she's really going until she gets to Emerson U. But she doesn't know her living situation until she knocked on the door and Jameson opens the goddamn door. And she's in shock because they're all very hostile, all very angry with her. And she's not understanding like where this is all coming from. So we're seeing them kind of just go through that so i'm going to read the description to you it says welcome to emerson grove with our fantastic university stubborn lifestyle in the city nearby you're never going to want to leave i almost believe their slogan until my ride drives off leaving me on the door sets up a pretty house to really blast from the past leaving one lion's den i've fallen straight into another i didn't agree to this part to them i cherished my past and the memories i shared with these guys until i was whipped away in the dead of night and now they hate me for it jagger jameson leo and ezra they might be trouble, but I'm still the reckless, outspoken girl I've always been. I was made for them. They've forgotten that fact. It's like our history never happened. Things have changed and they're keeping secrets. I'll find out what's going on, whether they like it or not. I'm Luella Carter and Emerson U is mine. Just tell me that does not sound good. Okay, maybe it doesn't sound good to other people, but I like books like this that you don't need to put like a lot of like thinking into. That's just the point. Like it's just a straightforward book and I love reading books like that, especially when I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed with a lot of things or like I'm trying to stick to a TBR I need to throw something like this in there so that I don't start getting into a funk because as a mood reader that happens when I try to stick to reading a TBR stack I don't know it's kind of daunting to me anybody else who's a mood reader is that daunting to you or is it just me because I have like almost an anxiety attack over it thinking like hey I need to stick to this list and that list only and I get that that's not the point of a TBR it's kind of just like something that you want to try to get to but I feel like whenever I make lists like that like with my personality or like my traits I feel like I need to complete that to feel like satisfied but yeah so in this reverse harem there is mm going on so we're gonna see how this goes where it goes i'm really liking the plot she's trying to figure out like what they're hiding from her now and why they are treating her the way that they are treating her so it's getting very interesting i'm really liking it so the goal is to finish it today and maybe jump right into book number two because my goal for this week was to finish three books and i've only finished the x hex this week we will see where this is going and if i enjoy it as much as i'm enjoying it now on goodreads it is a 4.21 stars we'll see guys we'll see what my rating is gonna be okay all we have planned for today is mia's pizza party later on tonight but i think we're gonna make a calzone maybe for dinner around there we'll see i really what i have planned today and to kind of just sit here and read i think i'm gonna go get in the bath here for a little bit kind of just try to relax a little bit this morning read a lot more hopefully finish this book here it's just like having this big thing on it bothering me my son keeps squeezing it so it obviously hurts a little not like oh my god painful but like it does 
will obviously bother when he squeezes. What else do we have planned this weekend? Don't really know what we have planned. I think we're just going tomorrow night to a friend's house to watch Ohio State college game, football game. I think about what else. I cannot think for the life of me. Oh, our fish tank. The light's off on it. I have a puffer fish in, in there somewhere. I don't know if he's out. Oh yeah, he's back there. He's in the back swimming around. We really have much going on this weekend because Jordan starts his class on uh, Sunday. He's going to ALC school. So if you're military, you know what I'm talking about. So he's going to ALC school, but the first, this first week from Sunday to Friday, it's just online at home. And then he leaves Sunday for a month, which really kind of just sucks. It always sucks that initial first two to three days when he's gone because we're getting in a new routine. Dad's not here, mom's doing everything. I become very overwhelmed, overstimulated, and I come into, I become into like this neat freak where all I'm doing all day is just cleaning 24 seven because I don't have the extra hand to help me. And I just become very overwhelmed. I am thankful that he's here for this week coming up though, that I mean, yeah, he's gonna be locked in the room all day. The kids have fall break, so they're off literally Monday to Friday. And then I also have like a lot of things going on this week. Like I have a doctor's appointment on Monday where I have to go all the way down to Nashville for. Anyone who knows me and has watched my videos before knows how overwhelmed I get with going in public with all three kids by myself. Now with the girls, getting a little bit older it is a little bit easier it still becomes sometimes an issue it just really honestly all depends on their mood and how they're acting and things like that kids are kids oh we have parent teacher conferences on friday and mostly just mia's thea's we can just walk into her class and just view it and see the things that she's doing and just things along those lines that should be fun to do that's all we really have going on we just have school projects going on this week as well but i want to get out of the way this week before jordan leaves like mia has to we have to go buy a pumpkin for me so that she can decorate it as one of her favorite book characters that should be fun to do as a family and watching her do and then yeah we just have to as a pumpkin outline on a paper that we have to decorate with her and then she has to explain to the cast what she did and why she did it and just things like that which actually i really like that they're doing that at such a young age because i feel like it's going to help with public speaking and projects like that in the future i can't remember ever doing anything like that in pre-k where it's kind of working you up it and you're not really a, i feel like when you're that age you're not really scared to like talk to a class because you feel like everyone's your friend and you're just not honorable to being do that judgment and things like that so i do like that she has to do that at the age i think it's just gonna help in the long run because i remember in high school or having to present a project or anything like that i was a nervous wreck and i would literally speed through it like you have to speak for five minutes mine would probably be the most three minutes and that was me trying to talk slowly and do it make eye contact and things like that i was just not i've never been a good public speaker one thing Thing I want to work on for next new year is expanding my vocabulary and just things along those lines that's what i'm looking forward to the most I'm just come on up to you guys about today friday hopefully tomorrow's a little bit more interesting maybe we'll do a walk we were gonna do a run today we're gonna try to do a three mile run today but my hip is very irritated and like hurting me this morning it just feels sore i don't want to say okay i don't want to say that it's hurting to a pain where i'm like i need to go to the hospital type of pain but it just it ate and i don't know if it's because of the muscle building in my groin on that side or if i overstretched it it's been happening for like the last two weeks i ran with jordan and that run i really pushed it and that was the first time i ran two miles straight without stopping the, obviously i'm in my running girl era i think i said this on my bookstagram if you follow me on there i've really been enjoying running obviously running just sucks i don't want everyone to i hate when people are like oh my god i just love running it's so enjoyable no it's not enjoyable it just honestly truly just sucks at the beginning when you're trying to understand your pacing and get your heart rate down to a reasonable amount and just working on your pace I feel like my pace on the treadmill is really good because I set it at like I think at a six as I was saying on my running rant Obviously, it sucks at the beginning until you start figuring out your body how running is affecting it How um, you're pacing I try not to I really focus more on my pacing and not my time because you have to realize when you're first starting off Obviously your times are going to be way higher than what you expected My pace has always been for my mom has always been between like 11 something and 13 like almost 14 minutes in between there for a mile and then i really started to take my pacing serious when i started training for a 5k 5k is like 3.1 miles and obviously for a new beginner runner that's very daunting to me i've always only ran like a mile before working out it has always been my go-to on a mile and then working out right after so that i got some type of cardio in and i feel like that has always worked well for me last in august not last august i started doing 
a mild day for 30 days and I started seeing the changes in my body and how I was feeling and I've been dealing with like for the last year or two since having Xander bloating it doesn't matter what it is I constantly feel like I'm bloated and running has really helped with that obviously I still feel like I'm bloated when it's that time of the month but other than that it has been working just running has really I have been slowly seeing the change in my body and feeling stronger and yes your body aches when you're doing something new because you're building that new muscle so when I was doing that mile a month I mean a mild say in August my calf shins were hurting like crazy not only because I was doing something every single day that was new but also I did not have the correct running shoes to run with now I got the Hoka's Bondi 8 and those I feel like I can run forever in those like nothing hurts obviously I'm working on my breathing the whole time I'm running though I'm talking to myself inside my head doesn't matter what I'm listening to which I've been listening to the true crime podcast when I run don't know why pretty creepy and it freaks me out sometimes but it's what keeps me going but the whole time I'm thinking one foot in front of another one foot in front of the other you can do this one more step one more step you got this picture I'm constantly just hyping myself up when I'm run and I feel like if you don't do that you're going to want to stop running and I learned that me talking to myself and saying you can do this one more step you can do this one more step keeps me from stopping and wanting to go but I do like that with the runner app that I use that I'm training with by 5k not that I have a like race signed up or anything like that that's just my goal that I always wanted to try to hit and once I hit that obviously I'll keep on and adding a goal I just love how they have it all planned out like I started off I think running I mean walking for five minutes running for like a minute walking for three minutes and then each week it progresses where you're running longer and walking less I really been enjoying the runner app and I'm loving how because when I was doing my mile I was literally running it straight and my breathing was all erratic my pacing was like up down all over the place so my goal is to keep my pacing between a 10 and 11 like 40 around there because I would try I want to try to do a 5k in like 30 to 35 minutes that's the goal but now where i'm at in my program like i think my last one was like we start off running 0.60 miles and we rest for i think 190 seconds and then the next set is like i do that set five times which is 0.10 miles which were like speed intervals and then i walk for 90 seconds and we keep doing it like that i think it says rest for 90 seconds so i don't know if that means like i just kind of just stay still and rest and then try to do it probably that's not what i was doing actually when i think back on it and it has a goal at the top where you're supposed to hit it'll be like i think the other day was like i need to hit 1.7 miles during that workout and i obviously i surpassed that which is really good because that's showing that like hey the pace that you're at is actually working for you and your goal you're achieving it when you're hitting it so like tomorrow i have to run 2.5 miles i think it is so i'll bring you guys along with me i do love that how with my apple watch it literally starts by vibrating counting down when the next step is about to take place if that makes sense so i really really enjoy that here i'll show you what tomorrow it's gonna look like so you can do it on the treadmill and i love that on the app it puts you what your speed is so like you just literally in type your speed let me see if i can turn i'm gonna turn you guys around one second so you see how it says 0. 0.30 running warm up and then 120 seconds walking rest and then i tomorrow's gonna be really harder i haven't done this i did 0. 0.60 but i haven't done 0. 0.95 miles running at a conversational pace for 180 seconds walking rest and i will do that two times to try to hit my 2.4 miles that i need to hit if that makes sense so this is this is how my workout plan is i haven't been doing my like my strength training which i need to get back into the last few weeks i haven't done it so today i have to do legs and core and it kind of just has a whole setup a whole work up set up for you which i really enjoy and like and then saturdays i leave for mobility so it's just like a yoga which i really like but yeah i'm on week five and this is how it has been looking i try never to skip a, a run and if i do like if i would skip this then if i would skip this i would try to move this up to do the run then or like if i skip the run on saturday i'll move it so that it's on sunday and then i'll still run it oh i love how this is not sponsored by the way i just really love this app because before i was using the nike running app and honestly does not compare it exceeds the nike running app just because i can add my strength training i can add pilates
activities and yoga into my schedule and I can move it around better fit my schedule as well that's what I really have been liking about it and it makes me excited to want to work out too knowing that hey I don't have to go into the gym and think about different workouts that I should be doing it's all set and done for me right there and I love that it connects to Strava and to my Apple watch to my Apple health so it literally just locks it for everything so I don't have to go in and input it anywhere else which is really nice and I really like enough about that I think I talked enough about Rana and how much I love it I am in my running era and I have absolutely been loving running like I said that it's a love-hate relationship that we have it's something that I'm just obviously working into my routine making a habit for myself and it's a habit that I'm actually really loving and can't complain about even though while I'm doing it I by the end I absolutely hate it and I do try to smile when I'm running because I heard you know the endorphins go in and you know makes it all better So my husband and sister-in-law made, I don't know what they're called. I think they're called snickerdoodle. Oh, cinnamon swirl snickerdoodle blondies. So we'll see how they are. My sister-in-law is a baker, so they got me a mixer for Christmas last year. And she was like, I need to start using it. So I use it to bake with her. Before we were doing like every weekend we bake together. Not as time. I think we just stopped during the summer baking together just because life became life and a lot of things, you know, kids home, summertime, we're always all out. So we just weren't baking that much and we just started again. I was supposed to bake with her, but with me doing my finger, I didn't want to touch anything or do anything with it. So Jordan ended up making it with her and it came out really good, guys. I think I showed you guys in the in the clips, but I think it looks really good for them baking it together. I can't wait to taste it. Also, just got done watching Mr. Crockle. Is it Crocker? Yeah, Mr. Crocker on Hulu. And I think I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of five stars. And like movie stars, I always rate things out of five. And then if it goes higher than that, then obviously I absolutely loved it. But it was different. I don't I don't know if that's like a tale. Never heard of Mr. Crocker. Don't know if that's like a something someone just came up with it or if it's like a remake of something. Not really sure, but it was interesting. It was an interesting thing. And I think the lesson of the thing is don't treat your kids like shit. It's a lesson of yeah, I'm gonna get back to reading. I really read much, so I'm gonna get back to reading. So wanted to show you this little swagger pack I got for PR. It's super cute. And thank you to Brooke O'Brien. This cute little swag came in something like this. And it came with a sticker that says, read sweetheart. Like, tell me that's not cute. That is adorable. Another sticker that says, read Hendrix. Cute. And then it came with another one that says, You had me at football romance, which, um, of course you did. We love a good football romance. And then it came with, um, Brace and You. So it's just like this of all the guys in the series. I'm pretty sure this is Hendrix right here at the end. That's his book coming out. Then it says, Brooke O'Brien, Risking It All for Love. Oh, I love that. And then it has her handle and all that on here, which is author Brooke, Brooke O for Facebook and then for Twitter and then over here for TikTok and Instagram is author Brooke O'Brien which is super cute and then this to put on your door it says I'm breeding do not disturb unless you play for Bryce and you then if so the door is open tell me that's not cute and then it has just this so if anybody wants to pause it and scan it so you can go ahead and start reading it. And then we have Welcome to Bryce and Goo and it just has all their their things on it. So I think the one that's coming out is the fouls you make and it's friends to lovers, football, sports, roommate, roommates, he falls first, secret off limits relationship, small college town, interconnected standalone. I've sworn off dating football players after my last relationship ended disastrously. I've given up on love entirely, determined to start over fresh somewhere far from Rixton, Tennessee. I impulsively transferred to Bryson University. The Carter twins were like brothers to me growing up so when they offer me a place to live until a dorm room frees up, I accept. Reed Hendricks is an irresistible as he is off limits. Sleeping in the room next to him could complicate things. Not only because my brother warned Reed to stay away from me but also because falling for him would break my own rule. Yet it's unnerving how quickly I find myself giving in to my feelings for him. Before I know it, we're stealing glances and sneaking around, dangerously towing the line between flirting and fooling around. They say some rules are meant to be broken. When secrets are revealed, I can only hope my heart isn't left broken too. Why does that sound actually really good? Like I need to start with book one because since they are interconnected standalones, that means we're gonna kind of probably still learn about other couples throughout it. 
So I thought that was really cute of her and thank you so much. I truly appreciate getting all these PR packages like this. Um, I love it. I love posting them on my bookstagram and sharing with others about things. This is actually a perfect book to read around this time as well because like I said, fall season, football season, all of that good jam. I'm excited to eventually get to that series. I think from now until February, it's more like I'm constantly reading sports romance and most of that romance in between that time is football romance just because of like I said the time. <laughs> get another clear one because when I did this case, my dumb self decided that I was actually going to put the stickers on the case. That's why you can see it kind of coming off here and I learned my lesson obviously not to do that to just put them on the back this time so that I can keep reusing them whenever I want. I absolutely love how convenient since using this camera, let's give it a little review since it's been like about four days at this point, three days, I'm lying, three days. <laughs> I I just love the convenience. It's like I don't even gravitate to grabbing my other camera. Like I know I'm going to use this for some things, just don't know what. But I'm not even seeing myself gravitating to go get it. I think the quality on here is amazing. Just seeing everything looks just so clear. So sorry, does I look a hot mess? I do need to straighten my hair. That is one thing I do want to still do before tonight, just so that I look somewhat put together. But I'm loving the quality. I'm loving how easy it is to just grab it in. Just turn it on and record i like i said i'm really loving the stand where i can kind of just angle it at different angles and be good i can literally angle it down sorry you guys are gonna put my phone at my phone just love the different angles that i can get with it and here's my sweet little harper girl harper girl hi what's up girly oh you got some what's going on with your eye Oh, I know, I know, I know, oh, I know, it's okay, it's okay. One thing to know about my cats, they're all cuddle bugs. Like literally once you start petting them, they start nudging you. Even our dog is like that. They'll start nudging you so that you can pet them more and just give them all the loving. And I love giving them all the loving. <laughs> but yeah, so once the girls get home, we're kind of going to just all start getting ready for the pizza party tonight then. Okay, so we are about to leave to the park for this pizza party and I just threw on some of these are like extra big on me But I don't really care. These are on just the shirt and then I just threw on my crocs Because why not? Um, we're going to the park anyways to go run around and I did rewrap this after straightening my hair Should be a fun time should be hopefully just like an hour at most or less which would be totally nice um, because I want to come home and bring in my Kindle because I'm gonna read anyways while I'm there. Story of my life. I bring my Kindle everywhere with me and I read everywhere as well. Now the goal is to start using you out in public. So we went to be a cheer um, party. Obviously I didn't want to record. There was a lot of little kids and at the park there was a lot of kids. Um, I just don't feel comfortable recording other kid, other people's kids. That's just as a parent I wouldn't want someone randomly recording my kid. Um, especially not knowing what they're gonna do with it unless it's like a video I mean like a picture or something like that and that's fine. but obviously they don't like doing that but now I'm just gonna relax try to finish this first book I'm actually gonna take this off my finger this is my finger guys sorry it's probably gross it's the way that it went in I guess it's the best way to say it so yeah I felt good with the pressure but I know I need to let it let it like air out so that I can start scrapping and stuff like that I plan on reading what is it called watch me fall i think that's what it's yeah watch me fall and actually finishing it tonight that's the goal i'm also really itchy because of my animals yeah i don't know i'm just watching steps video just because i'd never finished it earlier so i'm doing it now and that's kind of what i'm doing for the rest of the night i was gonna watch halloween movies with my kids but they're all kind of like doing their own thing right now maybe i'll go on hulu here in a little bit and watch something for myself but just gonna watch youtube and read for a little and then shower and get ready for bed because tomorrow morning we do have mia's game early Early in the morning fingers crossed her last game is wonderful for her and that it's a blast and that she knows that she did amazing and that we are so 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 proud of her but yeah now on to reading good morning we have cheer this morning it is literally only like seven something i've been up for about like 30 minutes now now i'm gonna go make me some coffee do my makeup quick and then do the girls hair it's gonna be a little chilly so i just threw back on this sweater you guys probably seen in almost every of my other videos it's just my comfort sweater especially like when i'm gonna be around a lot of people i'm just my anxiety goes all over the place i'm just a bad person to keep a conversation going with i've always sucked at that and i think i suck even more unless like we connect on a deeper level or like i feel the connection right away then it's not that awkward but like I feel like until then, I'm a very awkward person, so I just don't want anything to do with other people. It's kind of where we're at this morning. I'm actually really not that tired, surprisingly. 
probably gonna just do her hair in a ponytail and then put a bow in it. Mornings are literally, I feel like, are not the toughest. I don't want to do the toughest, but like, everyone moves a lot slower in the morning. I'm trying to get my cat out of the way. I'm trying to just do all these little things. And like, it gets really hectic. Just look at this. So we're gonna do her hair quickly though. Go get the little bows. The finished product on her hair with little bows in them. Now to do Mia's hair. Now for Mia's to cheer her, we just put her up in a ponytail and then throw her bow in. So that's literally gonna be super quick for me to do. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay, we are back from Mia's game. It didn't record at all there. Nothing new, but I came home and I'm eating one of these soups. My favorite soups. Also gonna read a little bit and watch a scary movie on Max. Good last game. I have to really say, it was a good game. Now I'm just gonna relax later on tonight. We're going to a friend's house to watch the Ohio State game. Honestly, I really don't wanna go, but um, Jordan wants us to go, so we're gonna go for a little bit. I just kind of, I've just been really tired the last two days to be quite honest. I just wanna do nothing and just read. That's a that's like 90% of my mentality every day actually, especially the last two days. Also have a headache, so it's not helping. We are gonna read on my Kindle some more today. Also, I put those stickers on my laptop. I don't know here, let's see. I actually want to start filling these up. Some more stickers I collect from PR packages and things like that. I'm gonna just put them on my computer because I think that's just a cute idea to always just have them there. And again, thank you guys all for the authors and PR companies that sent me things. I truly appreciate it. And I'm trying to share more of that. Okay guys, so I'm actually, sorry, that's probably really loud. I'm actually heading to Walmart now to grab some press-on nails because I just took my off and I really didn't feel like, I do have other press-on nails, but like they're clear and I have to paint them and all that. And I really just want to throw some on before we go to his friend's house tonight to watch his football game. So yeah, we're going to run to Walmart fast and find some. I usually grab the olive and june nails because those are honestly my favorite nails i just hate that the walmart that i go to just does not have a lot of options of their nails we are going to be going there and i'm just going to be jamming out because i do not have any of the kids with me which is nice go and run out we all like look around and see if i find anything but again with me it's just super easy super chill i honestly just don't even do much of anything literally a homebody but i am i can stay home 24 7 mm -hmm. I already do that. If I can stay home and never leave my house, I would probably do that. It's like the easiest just thing for me. I just don't like being out. Like my anxiety gets the best of me and I only go out for like little things like this and obviously groceries and even Jordan's gone and I have to go for groceries. I usually do like Walmart pickup or something like that because it's 110 times easier than I think being a parent that has very anxious and doesn't like being around a lot of people and my anxiety can go through the roof and then adding kids to the mix on top of that because I've never been like this but then adding kids to the mix I think it really heightened all those emotions and feelings and I get overwhelmed and over um, simulated very quickly now it wasn't like that when I just had the girls but then I ended up having Xander and whoa did that change me big time some days are worse than others and I like I said I get over simulated very easily especially Especially when I'm obviously the main parent at home all the time and doing everything by myself that it becomes a lot and then obviously with us being a military family Jordan's he's gone a lot so it's just it's a lot of hard balancing I guess you can say sometimes it kind of makes you feel like you're a single parent because of them being gone so much that's why I'm so excited for this new chapter in his career and him going recruiting and being able to have him home for three years three years straight even though there's probably going to be a lot of late nights with him working but at least he won't be gone i mean it's a new chapter obviously we're always nervous for new change i'm just i'm a person that hates change and anything that messes with our routine or anything like that Hopefully everything goes well we, like, we're leaving everything in god's hands and, and we made it to walmart so let's go in there and grab some nails quickly I do like the ones down here. These are cute. These are pretty. Only they were like a gloss. Um, I ended up going with one of these. Oh, 
Where's Molly? I feel like they have a good selection here today. And I probably shouldn't be buying books, but I might. I might. Now, did my nails. Didn't need you guys to see my crusty nails whether they were, but did them absolutely love this goldfishy pink color going on here. Love it. It's very natural. Very just me, I guess you can say. Books that I ended up going with. So I wanted to get from the Blood and Ash book, but I did not. I kind of wish I did. I haven't seen that like cover of it ever. It was beautiful, but I didn't go there for that. But I ended up getting Wild Love because I have not read the series, even though I am a part of her. I can't think about what it's called. Um, what do they call that? Got Wild Love, heard amazing things about this series. And then, of course, because I read Say You Swear, I had to get Promise Me Not. And this just came out, and I'm so happy I got it. There was like two books left there. So if this is as good as Say You Swear, I'm pretty sure this is following her brother, the main character's brother, and Peyton. I'm excited to read that one. I'm making a photo for my bookstagram here, which is at Reading with a Scorpio. Nothing new there. So I'm just gonna go in usually do all my Instagram pictures just off my phone and then I have this app here I'll show you guys in a second oh a color story app right there which I just I just edit my photos on there that's how it looks and then I just go to filters these are I have a favorite one and I just been using and it gives it this nice blue like hint to it. It's literally all I do to all my pictures. I don't do anything fancy. Got myself a Red Bull as well when I was there. Haven't drank a Red Bull in forever. I'm gonna be drinking away with this. And I tried the Alani's and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, not it. I'm just not a fan of them. I think they give that fake sugary taste and I just, I can't, I can't do it. I've tried different flavors of them and I just don't know how people are so obsessed with them because I can't even, I literally can only get a sip out of them whenever I do try a new one and that's it. And then I'm like, I can't drink it because it's just, it's not a vibe, not a vibe whatsoever. But now I'm just gonna make my post on my bookstagram and relax for the rest of the day and read. I really wanna finish Watch Me Fall by KC Keen and loving it. I love a good reverse harem. This is definitely the book that's getting me out of my this weird funk that I was going through. I'm 78% into it. I wanna finish it before before we go over to his room. Okay, so I finished my book, Watch Me Fall, and I feel like with books like this that are so easy to read, that you enjoy reading, that you kind of just enjoy the whole aspect of reading it because there's not much thinking to it, that I automatically want to get five stars. Like this one, I was like, oh my God, I want to get five stars, but I'm going to settle with a four star. I'm trying to be more stricter on my ratings this year. The ending in the cliffhanger. Um, you see that Luella just struggles with like her feelings. Like when she gets very angry, she's very angry or her feelings just like build up to a point where like she gets so overwhelmed right and then her first in the instinct is to fight back but with her fight or flight instincts and that's why i'm going with a four stars i like the guys um my thing is that like we find something out near the end where jagger obviously went back to go get her and then one thing happened that he just didn't and then he lied about it okay we are home now um, it's 10 28 at night and I just finishing my thoughts on this book I found out something that when he originally first went back to Bring her back to them after they found her after years of searching for her He couldn't do because of something that he got last minute, right? But he went back and lied about it So my whole point was like why were you angry with her when you knew either way you weren't gonna be able to Do what you set out to do. I don't know. There's just a lot of questions obviously that I have I'm very interested into jumping right into the second book I'm actually about to download it on my Kindle now and start reading it because um yes give it all to me like i said it was just such an easy fun read and like books like this where there's no thinking to it and it's just all like plot and kind of like a little bit of suspense because you want to know exactly like what the hell is going on like what does robbie have against them it's like you want to just put the puzzle together and have the full picture and see where everything is going and where everything went wrong 
and that's why I'm so excited. Sorry. Second book, let's look it up and see what it's called. Okay, the next book is called Watch Me Rise. Also, another thing is that she's a badass. She does not let these guys face her at all. Like, you can't tell her nothing because she's gonna come right back at you 10 times harder. And I love that her and Jagger have this, like, more of, like, enemies to lovers going on where, like, he loves just getting any kind of reaction from her. And since she's been back, it's been on negative reactions because of how they are being to one another, right? Then we have Ezra, who I feel like he's a sweetheart. I really like Ezra, but also has like this badass side to him, right? Hopefully this slows because my phone's about to die. Okay, it says, hurt comes in all different forms. There's always someone worse off than you, but that doesn't make your pain any less real, any less heartbreaking. And I just, I love it. I love him. Especially Jagger. Jagger is like a loose cannon, but also Jameson is too. They're twins. And it's right here it goes Luella. I beat the F out of some punk tonight who thought he had a chance with you. He bites out, his eyes swirling with something I hadn't noticed there before, and my jaw hits the floor in surprise. What makes you think I'm going to let you get wasted and go looking for some when there are four right here in this room? And then I go, <laughs> then the other part. I think it's about time we gave our Luella exactly what she wants, boys. Love a good reverse here. Especially when they're already a type knit group and have been best friends forever like the guys and this one they have all been best friends but like when the guys are on the same wavelength and they are all on, in the same understanding i feel like the group flow of it all like just is seamless now when you have don't get me wrong i love when they're not friends and it's like a whole new group of guys coming together and building this friendship but also like this relationship because they're all interested in this one girl it's such a unique dynamic to see especially when you have one in that group where they're like literally enemies cannot stand each other family drama or especially when it's gangs like gang and gang and they come together because of that one girl there's you that so that i can read it it's processing so that's what i'm going to do for tonight and then i will see you guys in the morning jordan has his first day of classes tomorrow online he's hoping that it's kind of just like an intro to make sure that everybody can actually get into the classes and see what's up so he has to be up early so i'll be up with the kids early but i just wanted to wish him good luck and i know he's going to do amazing and he's going to pass this with flying colors love you babe good morning it is sunday morning and today's just gonna literally be a chill day we're gonna just clean up around the house read hopefully finish the second book in the emerson U series jordan started his class today so that's kind of why it's really quiet in here right now he's in like kind of like i want to say like our office room he has his gaming stuff i have my books desks and things like that I did really want to wake up this morning and do my Bible study, but he's literally using my desk right now. This week, he's going to be at home in that room studying and doing what he needs to do. And also, I think I already mentioned this, but the kids have all fall week for fall break. Don't know if your kids have, if you have kids or if that was the thing when you were in school, but here at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, <laughs> literally, they have fall break. They have every break that you can think of. They have literally in December. I think they only have like maybe a week of school throughout that whole month. Not even going to lie. Last night was a rough night. We went over a lot of I was expecting to only be there till 8. The game started I think at 6.30 or at 6. No, I think it started at like 6.30. And then it wasn't over until like 10. <laughs> Don't know why Jordan said 8. But that was not the case at all. We were there until 10. Xander ended up getting very grouchy like the last 6 minutes of the game because he was overtired and he didn't nap yesterday. He didn't want to be in the house. It's weird how kids know like their environment and things like that. Like they know where they're comfortable at the most and like they have the routine and I already knew. By like eight o'clock he was already getting there. And then Xavier was up because he was so overtired. Once we got home and I got him settled in his bed and everything, he was up maybe like an hour, not even an hour later, like 30 minutes later crying. He was like that literally all night long. This coffee is much needed today. And that's literally all I usually put in my coffee. Also, that Red Bull yesterday probably was not a good idea. Literally had the shakes. I felt like headed after drinking it. I think it's because, well, I will say yesterday, my water intake was terrible. So I think adding, having coffee that morning and then having a Red Bull that I haven't had in months just set me off. I was like like shaking like crazy it was just crazy and i'm just like this is why i don't drink it i was being very dramatic i'm just gonna go read enjoy my morning and do my bible study then i'll come back and update you guys on how watch me rise is coming together and all that good but okay i'm about to go outside to the garage and work out my husband gave me his old arm and watch i'm gonna try to use it so we're gonna see how that works sorry i'm just trying to figure it out because it's not touchscreen so i have to use the buttons and this is why i stick with my apple products because they're easier upgrade it to the newest 
one, I think, or something. That's around 2.5 miles, I believe it is. And it might be harder than what I'm anticipating. <sighs> I'm struggling today with trying to get my life together. But literally gonna just be running on my treadmill. And usually when I run, I've been listening to true crime. I feel like it just keeps me focused on like music, which is shocking to say, but so serious. But I have my phone <clears throat> and then I also have obviously the Garmin watch. I will say that the only down part about the Apple watch is that it does not, like whenever I run on the treadmill with it, it's totally off. How it counts the mileage and all that. I noticed that using the runner app and me running with my phone in my hand while I'm using the treadmill works better than, and it adds up to my treadmill like the distance on my treadmill and my app add up a lot more make a lot more sense than when i use my apple watch by itself because that's like it'd be like 0.50 off of where i'm actually really truly at in my run guys wish me luck on this run i'm gonna go straight 10 seconds next lap is 0 0.95 miles running at a conversational pace but it was also rest complete start running near either next rest 180 seconds apartment rep one of two completed nine minutes 55 seconds average speed 5.7 miles per hour i am done with my run i ran 2.5 miles i hit two miles at like 20 26 something if i'm not mistaken i'd have to go look at the app but i'll put all my information here on a picture or something so you guys can see really love the runner app because even with me on the treadmill and putting my speed in it calculates it to my pace that i was running at so i really like being able to see that when i'm on the treadmill now i'm about to hopefully shower here soon i'm gonna go check to see if i can run into that room and go to the shower um xander's still napping he'll probably wake up here soon um but until then i'm gonna just read a little and get a lot more deeper into it because i feel like i barely read today as you guys can tell i have not showered yet <laughs> I just have my crack sign, but we are going to grab Chinese food now. That is our dinner for today. My husband deserves it. That's what he wants to eat. So that's what we're going to go and get. Good morning. It is Monday morning. So I am just on to end the vlog again. Yesterday afternoon, more like of a family time. I got the Chinese, stopped at Walmart for some wipes that we needed. And then we came home, ate on the couch and watched Scooby Doo We Doo, which was perfect. Obviously didn't record any of that because I was just wanted to be in the moment with my family and I think yesterday was exactly what I think we all needed just to be together and be present and watch the movie together like nobody had phones out. I put my Kindle away and my phone away. Um, the girls didn't have like their iPod or their phones out either. We all just sat there and watched it together. And it was probably one of my favorite experiences that we had in a long time all together. But thank you guys all for watching. And I hope I see you guys all in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.